Today I will provide you with a recipe from Alsace and some of you might know that Alsace is in France, not in Germany. But here's the history of this area. It has been German and then it has been French and then it has been German and then it has been French. So it is going back and forth and since World War I it is French. However, their culture is a very unique mix of German and French culture. So that is why I'm doing this recipe because it's not only something they eat in France in that region, it's also something that people eat in the area of Stuttgart, Baden-Württemberg, so that area that that's close to Alsace. So I'm making Alsatian dinner rolls today, which is a little bit of a twist from a recipe that is usually called Flammkuchen in Germany, or also known as Tarte Flamme. Tarte Flamme or Flammkuchen is a very, very thin sliced um, pizza, kind of, and um, it has a topping of some cream-like mixture with onions and some uncured ham and sometimes some cheese, sometimes not, it depends. Um, I'm not making this very flat um, dough that goes on the bottom. Instead, I'm using some ready-to-bake rolls or in my case, since I didn't get them in my grocery, I'm using some ready-to-bake uh, French baguette, which is basically the same. So here are the ingredients. The rolls, or baguette in this case, that need to be baked until they are crisp. Then I have some cheese, green onions, garlic, salt and pepper. And then you usually have some uncured ham that is something that I can't buy here. So prosciutto or pancetta are the things closest to that. So I'm using these, they are already diced. And then I need some special cream, and we call that cream Schmand in Germany. You can't get it here in America, as far as I know. I had to do it myself, and I want to explain a little bit about these kind of uh, creams that we have in the German dairy. So we have sour cream, sauerrahm, as you know it, and sour cream has a fat percentage of about 18%. So it is suitable for a lot of things like dips. Um, it's not so good for cooking. And then we have schmand, and that's what we're using today. Schmand has a fat contents of about 24%. And I will get to how I made this myself in a, in a minute. Um, let's just move on to the next kind of cultured cream that we Germans have. It's called Creme Fraiche, and it has about 30% of fat. And then finally, we have Creme Double. Um, Creme Double is a cultured cream with about 40% of fat. So you see that different contents of fat in these cultured creams and the more fat it contains the more suitable it is for cooking so like if you are having a sauce and you want to add some fat or something creamy to it you would be best off using some creme double or some creme fraiche which i can sometimes get here in our grocery so now here's the question how did i get to have some schmand it's quite easy so all you need is some cream and a little bit of sour cream so I was mixing 200 milliliters, which is a little less than a cup of cream, with two tablespoons of sour cream. And then I put it in a closed jar and let it stand at room temperature, which is 24 degrees here in my house, that's 78 degrees Fahrenheit. And I let it stand without moving it at all for 24 hours and as a result, I have some schmand. So it's as easy as that. However, if you don't want to go through that trouble or you didn't plan ahead two days, which is normal in my opinion, um, then you can just use some so cream. It will work too. It will be a little crumbly maybe after baking, but that's fine. And the quantities for this recipes are like always on the blog post where you can print the recipe and you can also switch between the metric and the US customary quantities. The link to the blog post is at the very end of this video and down below in the description. I start with chopping the green onions. And to be honest, usually they use just regular onions in the recipe of the flam cake, um, flam kuchen, but I think it looks better if there's something green on them. So that is my personal choice. You can also go with just regular onions. And these little ends 
from your green onions. You can just put in a small jar with some water and then I'll show you what happens. They simply grow back and then you can use them again. Put this in a bowl. Then I prepare the garlic. And now I'm already using the schmand. The garlic. I'm adding the pancetta. Salt, and I'll be a little bit careful with the salt because the pancetta already has some salt, so I have to see um, at what point it gets too much. Of course, the pepper. And um, this is optional, but I like to add a little bit of nutmeg to this. Not much. And now I mix this all together. Some people also add some paprika, but I think that's not necessary. It's not my taste. So I set this aside. I will taste it in a few minutes when it's soaked through a little bit. Um, I will prepare the rolls, or in my case, the baguette. So since I have baguette instead of rolls, I'll just cut them in thirds so that they resemble rolls. If you can't get anything like that, you can also use some sliced bread like toast or something. Um, I cut these open. And now this goes on a baking sheet. And let's see how our filling is doing. Mm -hmm. I want to add a little more salt and a bit more pepper. All right, this just goes on here. On top of this goes now the cheese. And you might wonder what kind of cheese is the best one. You can just use any cheese that is melting well. If you want it to be as authentic as possible, you would use the Greiter or the Emmentaler cheese. But it's difficult to get them here. So I opted for some, what is it? Easy melt cheese. Um, I think the best fit is a, is a cheese that, that really has a good taste by itself. Um, like mozzarella is not so suitable for that because it doesn't really have a strong taste. It's very mild. So in my opinion, having something with a little more character is probably the best here. And you can leave out the cheese entirely. That works too. By the way, this is also a great uh, recipe for a party if you want to prepare it ahead and then you just put it in the oven um, shortly before your guests arrive or while they are already there. Um, so this goes now into the oven and for the temperature you should check the package of the rolls that you bought. And in my case it's 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I've already preheated the oven and now I will bake this for 20 minutes. Oh, this looks good. And you think, mmm, delicious. Yeah, so this is a really simple and quick recipe. It's great for a weeknight dinner, but also great for a party. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and watch some more of my videos.